Welcome to another week of Danica Denier Park. The boys are fresh off a break and uh, ready to tackle the Eagles this week at the G. Hope you get down there on uh, Saturday game. Should be a cracking game. And uh, I've got my training partner here, Cam Mooney. Welcome to the show. I was going to say, if you really, if you want to come down on Friday, you can just watch Burns and I train because that's all we do now. <laughs> We're best on trainers at the moment. Very good. All right, mate. We've got a few questions to fire away at you. Uh, First one's the Cats, obviously, with Brenton Sanderson going to the Crows this week. They're one down in the coach's box. Who's someone from left field that you feel could step up and fill that role? Well, I don't want to brag, Shannon, but I have been down the forward line now for a few years, and Scotty has been giving me the wink a couple of times this week. So it might be me this week, I think, pulling a few moves. Uh, with any luck, you and I will probably get a game this week. Life after footy, and I don't mind you being up there. We, we could be in. I like that idea. Perfect. Well, right, we've got a double act here. Uh, Matty Stokes and Brad Ottens, welcome to the show, boys. Thanks, Thanks. Bunner. Thanks. Good on you, fellas. Right, uh, a few questions. Cats are down in the coach's box this week, obviously, with Sando heading over to the Crows. Yeah, that's where he's gone, yep. Uh, we're wondering if you've got anyone from left field you think you could step up and fill the role. Well, Bud Lawton's been around for a long time. He'd have a few good ideas, I reckon. He's paid his dues, hasn't he? Bud's been at the club for, for what? 90 years now? Yeah, he's done a pretty good apprenticeship, I think. He deserves his chance. <laughs> maybe uh, Billy Browness would be good to uh, have a coach uh, that has a pub. Maybe, maybe get a few free beers. <laughs> well, see, that's left field. That's what we're after, Stokesy. Glad we got him on. All right, James Pods Adley. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> anyway. Uh, the Cats are uh, one down in the coach's box with uh, Sando going over to the Crows. We're wondering who is someone from left field that could step up and fill that role? Firstly, one under Sando. It's a great effort. Um, but uh, I'm thinking maybe Kevin Diggerson. What are your thoughts? Like? He doesn't really do much around the footy club. doesn't have much of a job. Uh, so he's probably got heaps of time to do some forward line coaching and get there on the you know, be in the coach's box on the day too, so I'm thinking him. You might have to give up one of these fantasy Premier League sides, but I think yeah. well, you could probably do that and, and step up there. I like that. All right, um, a lot of talk with the Solar boys playing on each other this week. We're wondering what's the worst uh, thing a family member has done to you. Uh, I, look, I've got a pretty good family and a pretty small family, so I can't think of anything, mate. They're, uh, I'm pretty lucky. But, uh, a real suck, aren't you? Love you, Mum. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Potts. <laughs> Well, I was growing up, I was obviously a lot younger than everyone else, my older brothers, so it wasn't so much what they did to me, it was because they used to stir me up a lot, so I remember I chased my older brother Jason around the, around the kitchen with the butcher's knife one night and butcher's knife. had to take the family to crash tackle me down. To, I was quite angry. Could have been a murder in the family. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, all on film. All right, we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> my brother threw an apple at me once, hit me flush in the face, so it's probably the worst thing that's happened to me. Uh, his brother shot me with a slug gun. Does that count? That's... That definitely counts. I know his brother's in for it, I think. I the sound of that. Perfect. And the last one is Guy Pearce. Won an Emmy this week. Uh, we're just wondering, going along the movie line, what, what's your favourite movie line? Damn it. Damn you, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> damn you. What's your favourite movie line? Uh, well, actually, my favourite movie is Snatch. So maybe a, a line from Snatch when um, the two... Big guys are parking the car, and you could park a jumbo jet in there, Tyrone. <laughs> Maybe that one. That is a classic movie, and uh, you could pick out 100 lines from that movie, I reckon. So, um, yeah, that's all we got for you this week. Thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure as always, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks. Oh, look, there's, there's a movie, Ace Ventura, and uh, it was a Ray Finkel line, but I can't quite remember how it goes. Soccer style kicker graduated from College High June 1976. Thatcher Arnold, graduate class of 1980. Holds two NCAA double division records, one for most points in the season, one for distance, former nickname the Mule, and the first and only ever pro athlete to come out of College County and one hell of a model American. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Now let God in your